We're going to keep this comedy cavalcade going with one of the highest comedians I have ever met. Please give it up for Mary Morrissey! Hey, everybody. Thank you so much. Half of showing up is showing up. Anyway, how many of you here are married? Single? I too am single, and let me tell you, I love everything about being single. Almost everything. There is one thing I don't like about seeing, being single, and that is the fact that everybody in a relationship wants to give me advice about how to get into a relationship. Uh, yeah, a lot of recognition. I see that happening here. <laughs> yep. My married friends tell me, why don't you join Meetup? Or how about Match.com? And then all my single friends say, you know, Mary, you really need to get out more. Um, you know, you need to socialize, get out to some more bars. And then they start listing all these bars that sound like a fortune cookie announcing my fate. Tap and grind. <laughs> Oblivion tap. Milky Way. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> maybe I'll take some of that advice, but my gay friends, yep, they actually sound a little more grounded. They say, Mary, stay true to who you are. Don't let a man take your independence. And never stoop lower, unless you're playing the submissive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be taking that advice either. You know, I actually only had one gay friend in college that came out anyway. I mean, I was a theater major, so pretty much I'm sure that all the guys that were in my class were probably gay. At that time, it was a little bit ambiguous. And my mother, she even asked me, are you gay? Me? What? It's because I have short hair, isn't it? No. It's because you're wearing Crocs. And you actually traded in your Subaru for that truck. <laughs> that was college. She still wonders. <laughs> now, I'm actually straight, but Straight men are generally socialized to like younger women. No surprise there, right? We do live in North America. <sighs> so that makes me a little more approachable from behind. Mm -hmm. It's the ultimate bait and switch. Hey, sorority girl. Nope, it's senility, woman. <laughs> yeah, it used to be kind of insulting, but I got used to it. The thing I really hate, though, oh, is being called a cougar. Cougar, really? A large American wildcat? All right. I will take Wildcat, but large? Really? That's what you got? <laughs> well, anyway, there are a lot of young guys out there that actually like older women. And they all seem to come flying at me like magnets to metal. Uh, I don't hit on these young guys. They actually say to me, oh my god, you're so amazing. You're so grounded, self-assured, and financially stable. <laughs> I actually thought that was kind of nice. It actually gave a lot to my ego, so much so that I went to one of my best guy friends that is married, and I told him about it. He said, no, Mary, that is man-speak. Do you know what that means? That means you are taboo, you are a trophy, and he gets to brag about it. <sighs> ah. 
Well, if that's what the young hot guys are doing, then I want to know about all of those 40 plus manthers and their stability. Manther. Man panther. <laughs> yep, you can look it up. I did not make this up. It is in the urban dictionary. It's all of those 40 plus men that actually are predatory and they go and they hit on all of those 19 year olds. Yeah, that's a little ageist, I know. But ageism, ageism is the new racism. <laughs> you know, I don't think I could be racist. My mom is actually 100% Mexican. Gasp. Yep. My dad, he's Irish, which explains the white skin. All right, but what I really love is the other ultimate bait and switch. I'll be standing next to a group of people that's us getting all down on Mexicans and being all stereotypical, and I just look at them and say, excuse me, I am Mexican. <gasps> they get all deer in headlights, and they say, oh my God, you're Mexican? Prove it. Say something in Spanish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm from California, and if you know Californians, you know we are the ultimate in sarcasm. I say, you want me to say something in Spanish? I'll say something. Algo. That means something. <laughs> yep. Thank you, everybody. This is your first.